What's up guys? It's your girl Ajava. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I installed this wig using only got to be glue free spray. That's all I use for this install to like install it down. So I'm going to be showing you guys that. This wig I got on right now is from the hair company Hermosa Hair. They sent me some wig caps and some eyelashes in the package as well as the wig. So I'm going to have all the links down below to this hair if you want to shop this look or look similar. I'm going to have the links down below in my description box. And yeah, I'm going to link down below the Got To Be Glue Free Spray as well so you know where to find this at if you want to use this for your install. It was fairly easy to use this spray on this lace to melt it down. So I'm going to show you guys how I did that. Quick and easy. It didn't take too long at all. And it's curly so I didn't have to flat iron it or anything. Just put a little bit of product in it. And this is the curl texture I was left with. Super pretty and cute for the summer coming up. This look is giving spring break, you know, it's really cute. So yeah, I'm gonna just get straight into this video of me installing this wig. Okay y'all, we're gonna start off with a wig cap, of course. And I'm going to just go in with my Morphe foundation in the color Filter 1021. This is the one I use all the time. So, yeah, I'm just going to dab that along my wig cap. This is actually the easy part. This is how I put my wig caps on when I don't want to glue them to my head. And I just put them on like this and it works out for me. Excuse me if I sound a little sick because I'm actually am a little sick. Y'all see how red my nose look? Yeah, get into it. But like I said, we're going to dab that around up wig cap to look match my skin tone and i had to cover up my edges a little more because they come down further so yeah y'all here is the wig i applied some of that makeup to the lace but let's get into the cap construction this wig inside the cap has four different clips which is nice to secure your wig on your head y'all so this lace is extra long so for me to install it i went ahead and cut off some of the lace in the front just so i can do a better install so that's what you guys see me doing right now then of course i go ahead and cut off the ear tabs the ear tabs is basically the piece of lace that go over your ear you guys want to make sure you are cutting this part off carefully but just make sure you cut it off so your ears aren't trapped under the wig but also make sure you cut it off to where you're not cutting the hair if that makes sense like make sure you section it off so you're not having cut parts of the wig cut it off nice and clean and it's going to turn out like a little square with some hair on it So now we're getting into the gluing part. This can be tricky because got to be glue free spray is literally soaking wet. It will run down your face like water. But once it dry, that lace is on there well for the moment. But I'm just spraying it and it's super cold. Y'all can see my facial expression. But as I'm spraying it, I'm just going to try to fan it dry as much as I can. So when I move to the other side, the lace on the side I just sprayed isn't lifting up because it's wet and it's not all the way dry or at least a little tacky.
okay so boom baby this is how it look once i take that elastic band off my lace it is pretty much melted on my skin and it just look nice this lace looks very nice and it blended in very well i love it now that i installed the wig what you guys are seeing me do right now is just activate them beautiful curls and i'm using this leave-in conditioner from the company alpha g and yeah that's what i'm doing didn't have to spray too much for the curls to start to do what they supposed to do and this is how they turned out they look really juicy y'all i love this texture here can we get into these curls y'all i absolutely love how this install turned out like just look and i did the no part look it's kind of a part but it's not really a side part fully and i was just taking my hot comb to try to keep that part down a little bit because this hair is really thick and curly but yeah i definitely achieved the look i was going for hopefully you guys learned something from this install video make sure you like comment and subscribe and stay blessed and stay positive bye